Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you will be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purposes. Good to do anything, I'll look at it and be like, ah, these days there's nothing to do, there's no business. An Igbo man is there, he's doing business and he's thriving very well. There is no place you will go to in Nigeria, you will not see an Igbo man doing very well. There's no place, and I, I, I might go ahead to even say, no town in the world you will go to, you will not see an Igbo man doing something. So this this attitude that, eh, we will show the Igbos. I know 40 people will be for that. I see some of you giving. Honestly, it's as foolish as foolish can be. Honestly, if that's your reason. Oh, I want to show. The only person you are showing you is yourself. Because, like I said earlier, if there's any tribe that is wired to actually survive, no matter what kind of bad governance and suffering that Nigeria can deal with, it's evil. They've, they've seen the hardship of Nigeria. They've seen Nigeria at its worst. There is no tribe up till now that has gone through what the evils have gone through in terms of that Biafran war. And guess what? You know, when you go through so much adversity, you learn and you build shockers that we have absorbed any other thing that will be brought in. The rest of us, we don't have such shockers. And I'll tell you, the Ozomena, never again, and the apprenticeship system is something that they have used a lot to, to help themselves. You and I, which apprentice system we get? If I come out now, go somewhere, say, hey, I'll be a dope, be a dope brother, you go look me. Oh, I'll be now, you go meet somebody, say, hey, I'll be also a sister, you go look you. Oh, I'll be also a brother, you go look you. Oh, the one that will say, hey, I am nuclear brother, you go look you. They don't really have that for most of us, but they do. So I don't know where this mentality is coming from, where it's like, oh, I'm going to show the evils and, and this one, oh, we meet, they will see us, we shock them by February, we'll do all of that. That has no place anywhere. So the earlier you sit down and look at your vision that right now is being ravaged, right now it's in soup, right now that people are in poverty, right now that people are suffering, because the suffering is, uh, it, is the same everywhere right some people are able to have they have more shock absorber to absorb it than than others so the earlier you focus and vote based on the suffering that you're seeing My village that I'm not able to do anything, I will look at it and be like, ah, this day there's nothing to do, there's no business. An evil man is there, he's doing business and he's thriving very well. There is no place you will go to in Nigeria, you will not see an evil man doing very well. There's no place, and I, I, I might go ahead to even say, no town in the world you will go to, you will not see an evil man doing something. So this this attitude that, eh, we will show the evils, I know voting Peter will be, so that I see some of you giving. Honestly? It's as foolish as foolish can be, honestly, if that's your reason. Oh, I want to show. 
the only person you are showing you is yourself because like i said earlier if there's any tribe that is wired to actually survive no matter what kind of bad governance and suffering that nigeria can deal with is evil they've they've seen the hardship of nigeria they've seen nigeria at its worst there is no tribe up till now that has gone through what the evils have gone through in terms of that biafra war and guess what you know when you go through so much adversity you learn and you build shockers that we absorb any other thing that will be brought in the rest of us we don't have such shockers and i'll tell you the ozomena never again and the apprenticeship system the INEC and uh, some wicked people. wicked leaders and people in authority to disenfranchise the people of this nation so these are people's pvc Yes, permanent original, one. original he, one. Yes. PVCs. That was dug from the ground. Hidden on the ground. Yes. Buried. They used to stop them. The people, to they stop them not to be not to vote. Yes. So you can, you can see, you can see it. Permanent one. Yes. Hidden original on the floor, one. dug from the ground. Two point something Look million at the pieces weakness. here. Look at it. It's more than two million pieces here. More than two million pieces yes. of PVCs here. Check, check out. You can see what is happening in this country. We get people. Do PVC. Man went down, Margaret, Come on, 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 Two days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Then you come, Ah, Lisa. They can't get a sucker. Eh? Eh? Dero buru desa? Ayo. Ala ayo. Kamu sini. Ana dul, ana dul la laki. Ayo, to wali, to wali. Gobur de. Gobur. Ayo. Ayo. Aha. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Give it up, super